Now let's talk about an emulator. What is an emulator? It's something that simulates the actual device and that is what we call an emulator. Right? It is something that gives you the same environment wherein what would be housing on the actual device. And then comes out, uh, out a question from my side. Can I run my Eclipse applications on my actual device? Is my question for everyone. What if I do not want to use emulator at, emulator at all? For example, I am using the accelerometer. For example, I am using the gyroscope. All right. So how should I go about running my application onto my actual device? All right. In order to uh, run your applications directly onto the devices, first of all, what you need is you need a PC suite for the app for the device that you are running it on. HTC has got HTC Sync. LG has got an LG, LG PC suit. Zolo, I, I'm not sure about this uh, about this Zolo phones of yours, Ashwin. But any PC suit that comes associated with the device, first of all, install this that PC suit. For example, Samsung has a keys installation. If you would have seen here on my desktop, you see I have installed keys onto my respective machine. All right, because I do a lot of debugging onto the devices, so I need an installation for keys. All right. So that is how you have to first of all install the PC suite of your devices. Then in order to find where exactly you have to find, let me just pick up my phone here and I'll tell you the exact steps where you'll be finding these settings in order to enable debugging on your device. Then we have the emulator control here. I say call. See a call getting coming up on my emulator. Just see a call coming up. Can everybody see this call coming up on my emulator now? So these are all the options that I can use on the basis of the emulators. Right? I can, if I want to answer it, I can answer this call. Right? If I want to just end this call, I can end this call. Similarly, if I try to send a message, I have all the options available with me on this emulator control. I say. Once I do that and I click on send, you'll see a text message being sent onto the emulator. Here you go. All right. So that is how we can use make use of the emulator controls. Suppose you want to set up the latitude and longitude onto the device or say onto the emulator when you are not working on the actual device. So this is the place wherein you can set it from. Right, so I have got my device with me here. In order to enable the debugging settings onto your respective devices, first of all, just go on to settings. Inside the settings, you'll be finding something which we call the developer options. All right, go on to the developer options. Under the developer options, just first of all, enable the development options onto your devices. Is everybody doing this exercise with me here? Enable the developer options, the toggle button for the developer options. Then you see a window at the bottom which says USB debugging. A checkbox against the against the option of USB debugging. Everybody confirm me that. Everybody can find this up. Alright, just check on the checkbox so that you allow applications to have debugging mode enabled. Once you have done that, alright, once you have done that, just plug your device with the USB cable and instead of seeing this emulator, if you have the device up and working, you'll be seeing a device here. No problems, uh, I think Eileen, that is all fine with me. All right. So you can see this particular window, here it will be showing you the actual device. And when you will be running it, your applications, you will be running on, on the actual devices. So that is how you can run your applications directly onto the devices.